Now let's talk about how to calculate morphine milliequivalents. Morphine milliequivalents are used for many different reasons, including trying to give an overview of how much opioids the patients are using by using one common term. It's also used in clinical studies and, of course, in laws and regulations. So it is important to know how to calculate it. You'll also see a morphine milliequivalent given on PMPs. Morphine milliequivalents, to calculate them, is relatively easy. First, you want to make sure you calculate the total daily dose of each specific opioid. You want to multiply that daily dose times its conversion factor, and then you want to add up the morphine milliequivalents for all those sources. Now, there are some examples where we're going to do 30 days, and we'll talk about how to do that specifically. Some important considerations is that the dose must be in milligrams, and this calculation doesn't apply to fentanyl patches. So let's do some examples. Here is our morphine milliequivalent dose um, conversion factor. So whenever we come back, we'll come back to this to talk about that conversion factor. But let's do an example here. You have a patient who had a motorcycle crash and is receiving hydromorphone eight milligrams every four hours, and you want to try to calculate its morphine milliequivalent dose. So as mentioned before, the first thing you want to do is calculate your total daily dose, which equals hydromorphone eight milligrams PO every four hours. So that means that they're getting eight milligrams times six doses right? So the patient's getting 48 milligrams of hydromorphone. Now we know that information. We can go ahead and multiply the total daily dose times the conversion factor. So our total daily dose being 48 milligrams times the conversion factor for, morph for hydromorphone. So let's go back here. The conversion factor being four milligrams. Multiply those times each other and you get 192 morphine milliequivalents. Another example here. This is a patient who's receiving oxycodone, 10 milligrams every eight hours. So let's calculate our total daily dose. So that would be 30 because we have eight, which would equal 10 times three times a day. Right, and then now we want to time multiply that total daily dose times the conversion factor. So we would get 30 milligrams of oxycodone times conversion factor, which is for oxy 1.5. That should give me 45 morphine milli equivalents. Hopefully you guys could follow me through that one. Let's do another example. This is one where we have multiple and it's also based on the 30 day supply. So this is a patient who has, his name's WS and this is what his PMP shows. He has hydromorphone, eight milligrams, 150 tablets for 30 day supply. And then you have morphine sulfate, you have 140 tablets for 30 day supply. So I'm gonna calculate this patient's morphine mill equivalents. First, we want to figure out what their total daily dose is. So you want to do this with the separate agents first. So let's start out with hydromorphone. And then we'll do oxy. I'm sorry, not oxy, morphine. So the patient is receiving eight milligrams of hydromorphone you want to multiply that times the number of tablets he's receiving that day, or in that 30-day period, divided by the 30 days. So you can see how this kind of gives us our total daily dose, because we have this whole amount 
over 30 days, and that's going to give us our one daily total, one day total. And then we're just going to multiply that by the conversion factor. But let's start out with this. Okay, so eight milligrams of hydromorphone times 150 tabs divided by 30 should give us. Forty milligrams per day. Multiplying that by the conversion factor, which is four, as we mentioned before, and we did a practice problem here. What we're gonna get is 160 morphine milliequivalents. equivalents. Now, whenever I did this in your guys's um, handout, I did it a little bit differently. So let me do it that way as well. So I'll do this for the morphine. So. Let's go ahead and set this up, and then this time we're just going to go ahead and keep it all in one and do the conversion factor like this. So let's find our total daily dose. So morphine sulfate, 30 milligrams times 140 tablets divided by 30 days. So what I would get here is that the patient's getting in their conversion factor for morphine is one. So let's go ahead and have that one of their conversion factor. So what I get whenever I plug and chug this all into my calculator is 140 morphine milliequivalents. Now, keeping this in mind, if we wanted to calculate his total morphine milliequivalent daily dose, we had to add both of these together and that's what gives me 300. We're going to do some additional practice problems in class uh, next couple weeks from now.